Red Film Radio, I'm Matt Micucci from Venezia 74, and I'm very pleased to be joined by director Laura and Kate Molivi, and actors Kirsten Dunst and Pilu Asbeck. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for pronouncing our names. Yes, yeah. that was, that was I'm shocked. So uh, I was like I'm very shocked. impressed. That was Kirsten told me before we uh, came to Venice, if anyone says their name wrong, I have to correct them. Uh, because I, I feel rude if I do it, course. but like if your friend does it, then it's not so bad. Yeah. It's not so bad. Well, listen, I don't have much time with you, so like I said, I'll have to keep the questions short and uh, simple and sweet. So what is the meaning of life? No, uh, we've covered <laughs> that already. Um, well, woodchuck is the meaning yeah. of life. But, uh, but let's, let me just see if I can just help out the listeners. And uh, Would you be able to tell our listeners a little something about the movie, just as yeah. much as you'd like to introduce it? Uh, yeah. Um, woodchuck is a film about that grand question, the meaning mm -hmm. of life. And it started from Kate and I growing up in Northern California amongst these giant redwood trees. And the feeling that we had when we stood in a, in a forest and that feeling of being so small and insignificant and feeling powerless. And I think that question is very relevant right now and learning to, to understand your place and that emotion, like what does it feel like to be so lost or to be so disoriented? And that's what this film is. And you, you go through it with a, a, with a character, Teresa, and her foil played by P. Lou Keith. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, another thing, and perhaps you can share the, uh, the questions and the answers uh, oh. between the two of you. So, no, no, oh, no, it's, this, this one would be for you now. <laughs> we just shared evenly. Is oh, the microphone on? I'm kind of suspicious. Yeah. <laughs> I love the way it's so spontaneous. <laughs> things are just happening, just like in the movie. It felt like this is the kind of movie you watch it, things happen. Kind of reminded me, this is a big reference now for me. Tarkovsky. Oh, wait, I just has said it. that myself. I saw in the theater. When I saw yes. Stalker, I, I had never seen that film. Yeah. And my friend said to me it was playing at a little, like, art house in Pasadena where we lived. And we went and all saw it. And um, it's so interesting. I walked out of that movie and I thought about it. That's a film I thought about for days. And I said, it really, it really stayed in my brain. And I, and I realized, oh, you know, I had never seen that. But it had, for me, a connection to this film in a sense only because I feel like it's a film that you go through and watch. You experience what she's experiencing, Teresa. This is a film about her mental landscape. You're kind of in her mind. Yeah. And it's not a film that explains her behavior. So when you're kind of watching the film, you're never going to get, I don't like my boyfriend. This is going on in my life. There's that never. It's just about experiencing and watching her in her psychological journey. Yeah. And for me, that was really... I felt very free about doing that for, you know, for me it was interesting and creative from a female perspective because it felt different. Um, but it's interesting that you brought up that yeah. director well, just because I didn't even, well, he, I mean. We saw that only two months ago. Well, he's an amazing director, yeah. so I mean. Well, it's Mirror like is another genius, great film. I was reminded of Mirror by yeah. Tarkovsky. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, cool. so it's a I'm film where it happens. It. It's a film with skin. You mentioned the word freedom, and I, I guess for the actors as well for the acting side of things I mean did you feel that freedom while you were shooting it well for me there's a lot of preparation that went mm -hmm. into this before yeah. because because there's not much said there's a whole emotional inner life you have to create and then before before you you know go and shoot the film and, and Laura and I and Kate spent hours together days like ta just talking like and so we were all on the same page when we got there because obviously when you do an independent film, you don't have as much time. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, then that when I get on set, then I feel emotionally free because I've done all the work. And then Teresa's really kind of feels like very easy to access inside of myself. That's right, because I think in this film, things happen in the film, but there's also other things happening that aren't necessarily seen in the movie. Pilu, did you, same, same question, kind of, did you feel that freedom and did you also go through that psychological process? Um, I think every single actor wants to have, to feel completely free when you're working because it means that everything is possible, you know? Yeah. So th you're not restricted by marks on the floor or the light or the camera. And, and how the Kate and Laura works is that they, they trusted Kirsten and I to and gave us that confidence to feel free in our work, which is the most important tool an actor can have. Right. You know? And is it a rare tool to have? <laughs> Sadly enough, yes. Ah, right. Do you agree? You know? it, it just depends on who you're... Like, when you're working on a bigger film, yeah, you have to hit this mark, and the, everything feels a little more contrived. Yeah. And then, 
when you have the freedom like we did on this, it's like, oh, oh, we like that. Let's get that. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not so much uh, planned, even though. Was anything storyboarded for our film? I can't remember. We, we did a few. We did them, and then we lost them. <laughs> we would be like, we don't like those ideas any on purpose. Like you know, I think we're very calculated and we're very specific. And then in being your own, it's like being your own professor. We know our subject matter, so in that sense, we feel free. If we wanted to change an idea on set, if Kirsten had an idea, if Pilu had an idea, we're like. That's amazing. Let's do it. Let's shoot that instead of the other thing. You know, I really felt so inspired by our creative partners with these actors because they, you know, every day it felt like such a joy. You know, Kirsten was doing things, you know, she's such a natural actor. I, I, you don't even know that she's present. It's amazing to watch her in this film for me because you're a part of this it's a very visual world that's specific to this idea of woodshock, but it's her world. And she's not, um, she's not a traditionally, um, uh, she's not a, a narrator that's very reliable. You know, you know things maybe not so real that she's experiencing. And to create that and to make it feel so effortless and not as though it was completely um, in the realm of, you know, too psychedelic. That's so powerful. And then Pilu is, you know, is a match to that. He came on set and every day we're like, oh, his personality just blends into this world and we have to, we have to access it. And what can we do to have more of it? One of my like, we were so greedy. One of my favorite <laughs> scenes that happened with um, Pilu was just this kind of small po poker scene between you and Jack oh, Kilmer yeah. and in all honesty it's what's so funny about that scene was is that it wasn't in the script and Laura when she saw the two of you know Pilu and Jack I think they were interacting and I don't know if we'd shot something with them yet but Laura said you know what we have some extra minutes and I just think we should give him a deck of cards and just film it and it's interesting because I do feel like the actors that we were working with were n immediately like in a sense could lead us because we were open and I think one of the interesting challenges on a film that we, at least specifically this film, was the cinematography was so c complex, was to, sh I think in a way, create an environment where hopefully they could be free of that and not, because often I'd be like, we're shooting you in five reflections. And it, it, you know, you don't want to, they could just be free in the world and not have to actually get locked into that part of it. So I think hopefully, I hope we did that okay. I think you did. <laughs> I mean, you know, it was a great film and unfortunately I would talk with you a, a little more about it, but I'm afraid they might kill me if I keep you in any longer. In any case, thank you very much. Thank well, it was you. a pleasure. Thank Thanks you. for joining us. Thank you. And this is Fred Film Radio, oh. the Festival Insider. <laughs>